not another direction, but I don't see any other doors that open, so this is the direction we'll go. Now, it's yes, my decision, this not is yours. Exciting. Just me and Stanley forging yep. a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Uh, uh, what do you uh, want uh, a story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, <laughs> I'm ready for it. Oh, you. I have a pretty wild imagination, if I do say so oh, myself. No, not you again. Stanley, yep, line. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No I lines or monitor rooms. Just I don't do like acknowledge color. it, and we should be fine. <gasps> I love how he said fine. He's like, he's like gonna cry, almost. We should be fine. Ah, a choice. We get to yep. make a decision. From there here, is. the story is in our control. How um, important we mind. mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in Good. circles for a minute. Okay. <laughs> So okay. I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere <laughs> the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And Your that in reasoning turn is impeccable. means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted <laughs> reverse door's <laughs> origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will <laughs> taking the right door lead us <laughs> to where we're going? And since the answer Will is clearly it? yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Really? Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Awaits. Really? I want the left-handed door, but fine if you're going to make me go in this one. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the confusion ending. Okay. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? Is it? We're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. really how all this goes. It's all what number are we on now? Determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Adventure line. My mind line goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Oh. Well, one, you two, three, me. four. We need another Why four restarts. Narragator forgets get about previous restarts. Is it really? <laughs> Stanley no, attempts to play be. the. I don't want it to play be. the story, but uh, I don't is... want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. And I won't go restart anywhere or do the anything. game. The I won't game restarts do it. On its own I won't six do it. I won't do it. Do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the what? cycle? The um, no. whatever it is that made this schedule. You broke How the would we game, even man. Know? Will someone come know. for us? Will something happen? Uh, seriously, I. So. Okay. Asking the wrong dude. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite is sure if we're in the destination it? or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Uh, well, in I the meantime. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, there's the next restart. Uh, another three to go, I suppose. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided <laughs> to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, well, let's go left this time. Since we went right the first time and shit just went totally bonkers. Yet there was not a single person here either. No nope. feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to Except go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive-aggressively on other co-workers. Restore co worker Resent co-workers from... Ah, oh, damn it, I missed it! I missed it! Okay, I'll, I'll wait till it comes around again. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Okay, screw it. You know what? There, there was just too many slides. There's too many slides. I'm sorry. 
Coming to a staircase, it. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's in the boss's office? This is a nice office. This is a very nice office. I wish to have an office like this one day. What does that say? Executive bathroom. Can I, t can I take a poop? I want to poop. I need to poop. I will bear my buttocks to the fridge there and poop. I need to poop. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, so I unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret Don't was being smoke, held though. from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Find it an extra secret pin number. Two, oh, eight, one. four, five. Two, but of course, Stanley eight, couldn't possibly have known this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Well, thank you. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. A passageway. Oh, over here. I see it. Do we get a flashlight or anything? Or it's just gonna be dark as it's all hell. <gasps> oh my god, there's another button? Another button? It keeps glitching out a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. I thought I fixed it, and it turns out it didn't. Where are we going? Descending like deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was yep. a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Why wouldn't it go unanswered? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, Mind facility? Control facility. Or escape! Um. Nah. Uh, no, I'll go this way. This Mind Control seems kind of neat, so let's take a look. What's this? Just a. That's it? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. There before. Did he have the strength to find out? Uh, 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 yes, I do. I do have lots of strength. I'm a strong person in mind and body and spirit. Cameras! Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's yeah. co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What are you talking about? Okay, well, I guess let's go this way. This is pretty cool, though. Kind of reminds me of the X-Men. People. Where are the people? This Do mind people? control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only wow. reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Could be. I mean, we could be doing that now. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was Never. unthinkable, wasn't it? That's right. Was it even possible? Had Is he it? truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh, what a nasty thought, I suppose. What's but here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I will, will I? I'll do that as soon as I understand how. And 
what possibly to do? Oh, power. Oh, just the power button? Is that it? Just boom. That's it. Done. done. How about over here? Anything? Lots of buttons. There's lots of things to press and lots of things to just touch, but nothing that seems to be helping us at this time. What do you do? One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. Ah, ah, ah. My control status offline. What about... Okay, maybe there's a power button, main power button thing that I need to turn on. Turn, 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 The big red button! No? Fuck you, I want to press it! Okay, well... Fine! Fine! Maybe I'll go to the power civility for hearts. Do things your way, game. I suppose. I actually and thought that like, there was a. He found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. So if I turn it off, does that mean... Oh, fuck it off. On! Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After uh -huh. they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yep. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You Wait. were supposed to let it go. Just Turn call the me controls Professor X. off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid Fine. you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. <gasps> Oh, in the shit. event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... I don't know where to go! Two minutes. Oh, ah, God. now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much yeah. better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so <laughs> yeah. little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb <laughs> goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about oh. you. Oh! About me. Oh my god! Where we're is, going. Is it like a combo? Moments, I barely know where to start. What's that? Now do something? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. What am I supposed to do? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll you tell you exactly you. what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, Why? that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh! Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take yeah. back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. What do you mean, what? My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Okay. 